हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू प्राइस यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज स्कॉलरशिप एग्जाम स्टैंडर्ड फिफ्थ ऑनलाइन क्लास सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स एंड द टॉपिक इज सर्कल एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द एक्सरसाइज 30 व्हिच इज अवेलेबल इन अवर नो नीट डाइजेस्ट ऑन पेज नंबर 305 सो अबाउट द सर्कल दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग वी आर ऑलरेडी सीन द रेडियस द कॉर्ड डायमीटर सर्कम फरंस एंड द इंटीरियर और एंड द एक्सटीरियर पॉइंट्स or you can say the uh, some points on a circle that all these points are all this we have already covered in our lecture so now in this one uh, we are going to see the ex exercise 30 and before this one there are the some solve examples so we will just make the overview for this one so in solve examples there is a question number 1 observe the given figure which of the following does not represent the radius so in this one if you observe this one so radius is repre not representing okay means we can say ce is a chord which cannot be represent the radius because uh, it is not uh, touch, uh, originated from the center and as we know the radius is originated from the center and up to the circle point so ce is totally chord independent so this is given in option number 1 so that's why option number 1 is the correct one then question number 2 the radius of the circle is 5.2 cm what is the length of the longest chord of that circle as we know longest chord of the circle means diameter and the diameter is two times or we can say the double of the radius and the radius is 5.2 okay 5.2 means we have to multiply by with a 2 so that is a 10.4 cm and 10.4 cm is given in option number 3 then there is a exercise so in exercise question number 1 is there if the longest chord of the circle is 18 cm longest chord means this is a diameter okay so then which of the following alternatives is correct so option number 1 the length of the radius is 9 cm yes because this is a diameter 18 cm and uh, radius is a half of the diameter or we can say we have to divide it with 2 so that is a 9 cm is a radius so option number 1 is a correct one then question number 2 in the figure o is the center of the circle which segment is not the chord so if you observe d e is the chord a o b is a longest chord but uh, o c is only the radius so segment o c is a not a chord even c b also chord even a b also longest chord means diameter so means o c uh, is given in option number 3 is is a correct option then question number 3 write the name of the longest chord of the circle longest chord of the circle means diameter and here the diameter means pt segment pt or we can say segment tp also we can say so that is given in option number 3 then question number 4 note for the question number 4 and 5 there is a diagram is given so in this one so somewhat be like a, this circle is there and here h and g this one chord is there then p is a center okay then uh, d and c is pass through the center p and then a is here and this b also on a circle and after this one i one point is on a circle and its line touch to the center of the circle p then e and f this is also the chord now in this one there are the two questions question number 4 and 5 so question number 4 is there how many chords are there in this circle so in this one this hg is a 1 then dc is a 2 then uh, ef is a 3 and ab also one chord means diameter also one chord so that is a 4 so there are the four chords and 4 is given in option number 1 then question number 5 how many red eye are there in a in this circles so red eye means is the plural form of the radius so how many is there radius so ip is a one so this is one this is two means ap dp dp then c 
P and B P. So one, two, three, four, and five. So these are the radiuses. Okay. So how many radii? Five radii. So five is given in option number three. Then question number six. What is the point of intersections of all the diameters in a circle called? So all the diameters means suppose here the A B or some things in any circles. So all the diameters always be passing through the center of the circles. Means we can say all the diameters intersection point is a diam center of the circles and center of the circle means option number two is a center is a correct one. Then question number seven. Which of the following statement is false? So in this one, if you see. Option number one: The diameter of the circle is twice its radius. This is correct one. Then, option number two: The diameter of the circle is largest chord. Yes, correct. Then, option number three: The radius of the circle is half of the diameter. This is also the correct. And last option: Option number four: We can draw one and only one diameter of the circle. No, this is a wrong. We can draw many diameter of uh, in a one circle. So, option number four is a False statement means option number four is a correct one. Then question number eight: In the given figure, which group of the points are interior? So in this figure, if you see V, P, O, and S are the interior points, and these four points are given in option number three. Then question number nine: How many segments or the chords can we draw? By joining the points given on the circle. So, if you count the points A, B, C, D, and E, so there are the five points. So, we have to deduct this five with minus one. So, there is the four, and up to the four triangular number also you can do. Or there is a formula n multiplied by n minus one by two. So, n means five. So, five, and then five minus one is the four, and by two. So, that is we can say. Five multiplied by four is a twenty by two means ten. So in this another format means four is there. So four triangular number also we can say that is a ten means one plus two plus three plus four. So one plus two three three plus three six six plus four is a ten. So that is also the one method and this is also the one method but with a formula. So ten is the correct answer and this is given in option number three. Then question number ten. Uh, A wire of length 8.8 centimeter is bent into a circle. Means with the same length, the circle is formed of. What is the circumference of this circle? So means that that is the same because that is a length of this wire and that is a turning. Means suppose here one point fix and this is a turning like this one. That's making the circles. So, okay, with the same length. So this is a Uh, turn up here and this is turn up here. Then the circle is formed. Means that length of the wire is equals to the circumference of the circles. Means the same length. So 8.8 centimeter is given in option number two is a correct one. Then question number eleven. So I just wrote down here question number eleven. So Gauri, Hamida, Mary, and Ishwari are friends. So there are the total four friends. They are standing in a circular format. So suppose you have one, two, three, and four. So in a circular format, they are standing. So they are. These are the four persons. Now they can shake hands with each other only once. Now how many times will the hand? Be shaken. So here are the total four persons. So four minus one that is a three, and three triangular number means one plus two plus three. So that is a six. Okay. So or we can say n multiplied by n minus one by two. That formula also we can do. So n is here four. Four multiplied by n minus one means four minus one is a three, and by two. So Four multiplied by three is a twelve by two means six. So that is also the another way. So six times they can make the uh, their handshakes is a total six. So six is given in option number four. So for question number eleven, option number four is a correct one. Thank you.